Okay, so um, this is a heads up on uh, how I go about finding intermittent fault. So I knew the intermittent fault was a 0-1 fault code on this boiler, uh, which meant that it uh, failed to light. So because the fault was so intermittent, I decided that I would set up all my tests, or as many as I could in one go, to try and catch the fault. So this is how I've done it. Okay, so I'm here on another uh, linear. It's got an intermittent fault that um, is not so intermittent anymore. So the boiler goes to a zero one one fault code, which is ignition failure. Uh, and because it was previously intermittent, I'll show you how I've set this up. I've put my gauge on it, um, on the gas valve to see if it's opening. I have my multimeter set up on here to initially, which is this is on here initially. This is uh, sending out power to the um, ignition controller, this blue box, and this wire here is, if I wiggle off this blue box, that wire there was on pin one of the gas valve. So I probably won't be able to do this one handed, but I'll simply get that wire there, put it in that connection there, hold it in while pushing the ignition controller back on. Okay, so that wire is on pin one of the gas valve. And that will have 240 on it if the ignition controller is sending power to the gas valve. So basically on this, I've got everything set up because it's a zero one fault code, so it means the boiler was trying to light but didn't. So this will tell me if the gas valve's lifting. As this is set up now, this will tell me if the board is sending power to the ignition controller. And then providing I can jump from this test here to that wire there, I can then test whether the ignition controller is sending power to the gas valve. Um, I'm not gonna be able to show you that, but basically that had two, this had 240 down here, this had 240 up here, it was sparking and the gas valve did not open. So that is how you can test the ignition process on the on a Vocera linear that's intermittent uh, and get to the, on this one here, the gas valve was the fault rather than the ignition controller. Okay, so here I'm gonna actually show you how I do it. So my leads are in there as I showed you first set up. I've reset the boiler. Okay, so boiler's reset. And I get 240 to the ignition controller. So the very next thing I do is pull out the red lead hold it on there I've got 240 from the ignition controller to the gas valve and that's it it stops sending power it's locked out um, so although I can't show you everything I the gas I know the gas valve didn't lift because for me I'm able to just glance with my eyes and see 240 and then look straight over at the uh, uh, u-gauge obviously I can't do that and move the phone and not electrocute myself or you know that sort of stuff so Trust me, it's the gas valve on this one.